Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be configuring redistribution. In particular, within redistribution, we're going to be taking a look at mutual redistribution between EIGRP and OSPF. Also, I'm going to be going over some very important rules within redistribution that, if you're not careful about, can end up biting you in a lab exam or just in configuring, you know, a network at your job or in a or in a practice lab. So what we have here is an OSPF domain between router one and router two. This is between their fast Ethernet 00, zero interfaces using the 172.16.12 network. And then we also have an example here of the EIGRP domain between router two and router three. And this is encompassing the their, uh, I'm sorry, router 2's fast Ethernet 01 interface and router 3's fast Ethernet 00 interface. And this is within the 23 network. Also, we're going to configure on router 1 three loopbacks using the 1 networks. And on router 3, we're going to be configuring three loopbacks as well using the 3 networks. We're also then going to take a look at router 2, configuring loopback 11, which is going to be part of the OSPF network, and then loopback 33, which is going to be part of the EIGRP network. So router 1 is going to be performing uh, routing just within the OSPF domain. Router 3 is only going to be routing within the EIGRP domain, and then we're going to perform mutual redistribution on router 2 between EIGRP and OSPF. So let's go ahead and get started here. We'll start with router 1. Let's go ahead and uh, bring up the interface here. So 172.16.12.1 is the connection to router 2. Go ahead and do a no shut here. Then we'll go ahead and create the loopback interfaces. So 1.1.1.1 slash 24 is loopback 1. Loopback 2 is going to be 1.1.2.1 slash 24. And then interface loopback 3 is going to be the IP address of 1.1.3.1 and then what we're going to do here is we'll go under and configure OSPF process 1 and then we'll put in our network statement here which is 170 I'm sorry yeah 172.16.12.1 so this is going to be a host mask so all this is going to do is allow OSPF to run wherever this IP address whatever interface this IP address is a part of. And in this case, it's going to be the fast Ethernet 00, zero interface. Then we're going to put this in area 0. Also, we're going to put our networks here, which are you know the one networks. We'll go ahead and just give it a um, I'll go ahead and do this. So this network, one, two, three, they should all be in part of this um, area here as well. We went ahead and gave it a, uh, well, let's see. Let's go to, if I do a show IP protocol on router 1, yeah, it looks like we should encompass with this, you know, wildcard here, we should have the 0 network, the 1 network, the 2 network, and the 3 network here in the third octet. So that should cover all of our loopbacks. Let's go to router 3 here now, go ahead and get it configured. 
faster than at zero zero first. We'll go ahead and give it one seventy two sixteen twenty three dot three slash twenty four. Go ahead and do a no shut on the interface, and then we'll go ahead under the loopbacks and get these configured. Three dot three dot one dot one slash twenty four is going to be the loopback one. Loopback two is going to be three dot three dot three dot two dot one and then interface loop back three is going to be IP address of three dot three dot three dot one then we'll go ahead and put it in EIGRP EIGRP is going to be process our AS1 go ahead and do a no auto summary so we don't summarize at classical network boundaries and we're also going to put in our network statement here. So in this case, we're going to be doing 3.3. Or we could do a 3.0 like this and do a give it a subnet mask like this. And this should um, encompass the 0, 1, 2, and 3 networks in the third octet here. Also, we want to put in our directly connected network here, which is 172.16.23.3. We can also just do all zeros here. So it's just going to run on the directly connected network, which is the, the DAP3. And that should be it. So let's go ahead on router 2 and we'll go ahead and get router 2 configured here. We'll go ahead and do interface fast ethernet at zero, 00, which is going to router 1, give it the IP address of the dot 2 in the 12 network. Again, do a no shut. Then we'll go do faster than zero one, which is the connection to router three. We'll go ahead and do a one seventy two sixteen twenty three dot two. Again, this is going to be a slash twenty four. Do a no shut there. Then we'll go ahead and create our loopbacks. So we got a loopback thirty three, which is IP address of thirty three thirty three thirty three thirty three slash twenty four. Then loopback twenty two, which is the IP address of all twos and that's also a slash 24. Now what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and configure our routing protocols. First we'll do OSPF 1. Under here we're going to do our network statement 172.16.12.2 which is our connection here in area 0 to router 1 in area 0. We should see this neighbor come up as we do here. Looks like it's loaded to full now. Loading done. Adjacency change here. We have an OSPF. And what we're going to do, we're not going to advertise these into our interior gateway routing protocols, our IGPs. We're not going to advertise these loopbacks on router 2 into our IGPs via network statements. I'm going to show you um, a, another way we do this uh, which encompasses a using a route map. So we'll go ahead and do this later on. Let's go back here and we'll go into EIGRP AS1 and then we'll go ahead and do network here is going to be 172.16.23 dot two and then specify all zeros here so as you can see we have an adjacent